Hello YouTube, Bob Skittles here. Uh, bringing you a review on my bandolier homemade. Uh, it's basically just a, a belt. A belt, oh, as you can see, I'm not quite finished. A belt, any, we can get it at your swap meet or anything. A belt buckle, whatever you want, just whatever you want. And then I have ripped off a piece of my of my pants. And I would put the bullet on and I'll sew in between the bullets. Uh, it's very easy to make. Uh, probably seven year old could make it. Uh, 17 HMR, you guys. 17. Uh, today, uh, I'm using the Remington. Because uh, my other ones, they're in my brother's room. But 17 HMR, here go. Uh, show you the bullet. These are lead, they're not lead free. Uh, if you want lead free, I recommend Hornady. Uh, yeah, so it's basically just a bandolier. I'm not finished, I still need to do this side right here. I wouldn't recommend going all the way around, just do a certain side. Uh, so basically to put it on, all you need to do is just put it on like a normal belt. Normal belt. There's one key thing though, leave a gap in between right here, so instead of coming all the way over here, you can just push the bullet up, boom, put it in your rifle, and yeah, uh, this is good, it's good with, mm, I mostly recommend a 17 HMR, well, a 17 HMR and a 22 Winchester Mag, uh, it's a Magnum, this one, I have no idea what kind it is. Uh, yeah, pretty much the same thing, same way. Uh, it works on long rifles, 22 long rifle, 17, 22, uh, 22 magnums. Uh, I wouldn't really recommend 22 short, cause then you, your stitches are gonna be small and they'll rip easily. So yeah, pretty much my homemade bandolier. Right, YouTube, that was mine video of my homemade bandolier and don't forget to subscribe on top. Alright, thanks. Have another review later.